most video on the net now, it, it stutters, it buffers, uh, it, the, the video is small. Um, as you can see here, we're looking at uh, very smooth, very clean, um, TV-like full screen video. And, and the reason for that is just special technology that we've developed that allows for that. And the, the, we can do this uh, for audiences that can get up to uh, tens, even hundreds of millions of simultaneous users at one, one at the same time. So TV-like audiences. A little test drive here. This is obviously a little, what would you call it, interface or a way to control the video? Yeah, it's organized just like your remote control. So you've got up, down, left, and right. Uh, on the bottom you have uh, play, stop, pause. You can also find out more information about the show that you're watching. Uh, or you can search our catalog by typing in a topic and clicking search and you'll get a list of, of shows. So if you're, you're into uh, Frasier, you may get uh, episodes of Frasier, episodes of Cheers, documentaries about Frasier, Brendan Frazier, all that kind of stuff in okay. your search, right? So now th there's quite a good possibility that people are going to use this at work. <laughs> <laughs> Rightly That's or wrongly. That's up to them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, so, or at home and they want to do something else. Sure. Sort of multitask online. It's going to be kind of in the way on their desktop. I mean, do they have to see a full screen? No. So what you can do is you can just click a button and shrink it down to the corner and you can do, uh, do a spreadsheet if you like or, or any other software and have it running in the, in the corner. And you uh, still have the little menu that comes up there. The menu still comes up. Um, you can fast forward and rewind. Um, and uh, of course you can change channels or change programs within the channel uh, right from this um, little control box. Is this really going to revolutionize the way people think of television or consume television? We think it will. Primarily because this will take television from a uh, two-dimensional uh, experience to a three-dimensional experience. Once you take television and you add in community and interactivity, and people become uh, part of the experience and part of, and participate in what's happening on TV, uh, and start viewing together and building communities around content and interests across the globe. We think that's fairly revolutionary, and the technology today uh, provides it for that. You know? How is it different than, say, web TV, which sort of came around a while ago, where people were watching television and there were sort of interactivity features on their TV versus on their computer? Well, it never really hit, and, uh, and um, it's, it's tough to say why. We think that the key to this working is, is, is simplicity and a very elegant kind of solution for the end user. Um, and uh, that's what we hope we've created. Users will ultimately decide. Yeah.